It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. Hey guys, Tyler here. A pipeline has exploded in the Gulf of Mexico, and after the news just came out, there were many people who get their personal hot takes on this whole entire issue. And so, without further hesitation, let's respond to the tweets that I found to be the most crazy and the most laughable. Men had their chance. This is what they did with it. It's time for women. Progressive women. You know, that person has a point. She is absolutely right in generalizing an entire gender just because there were some people who are just irresponsible with the pipeline. You see, every single time men do something, it's always evil, it's always wrong. And so naturally, of course, when you get a woman in office, obviously things will be A-OK. -okay. There won't be any sort of problems whatsoever. You see, women are more careful and of course not as flawed as men. So naturally, having a woman in office would actually help a great deal. What stage of capitalism is setting the ocean on fucking fire? The sea is on fire, but some people still think capitalism can be managed. Capitalism, a system that is based upon the pursuit of profit above anything else, aka greed, and the infamous growth, is not the problem here? Huh, alright. Before I respond to the tweets, let's have a clear-cut definition of what is capitalism, because one of the tweets just mentioned that capitalism is all about making profit, i.e. greed. And so here's the whole entire definition for you guys to, of course, understand. Capitalism, as defined by Google, is an economic and political system in which a country's trade and industry are controlled by private owners for profit rather than by the state. This is also a definition from Webster. Capitalism is an economic system characterized by private or corporate ownership of capital goods by investments that are determined by private decision and by prices, production, and the distribution of goods that are determined mainly by competition in a free market. Now, personally, I'm not, like, of course, a economist. I'm not good at economics. But at the same time, when I was just reading those two definitions out loud for capitalism, not once does it mention that the state has control over, of course, the production of goods and services that companies want to sell. Now, for the case of Mexico, and by the way, this whole entire thing happened because of Mexico, basically, the Mexican government, from what I understand, actually owns that oil company. And so, by definition, you can't necessarily say that the Mexican-owned oil company is actually, you know, the fall of, like, capitalism at all. You can say, of course, is like, you know, the fault of really, really bad managed corruption and encompassing from the government from Mexico. So this whole entire idea to just blame capitalism for encompassing does not make much sense to me in the slightest. Besides the point about having an incompetent government in Mexico, I think people are literally confusing capitalism with consumerism. In our modern day society, of course, many people want cars. And so why do they want cars? Well, the main reason why they want cars is to travel. Because, um, at least in the United States, for like a lot of places, you need to use a car to go to your destination. Whether it's your job or the shop, there's entire roads where you cannot just depend on just walking or just using your bike or whatever. And so naturally, people within that capitalist system will go out and buy cars, buy cars, buy cars. And as the demand of cars got higher, higher, higher over the years, that's why they started to become dependent on cars. And that's why oil companies start to, you know, drill some sort of things, pipelines, whatever, to get the supply and demand. So, consumerism is in fact a symptom of capitalism. And unfortunately, because of encompassy, because people, of course, it's true that people get greedy from, you know, getting rich and stuff. However, because of the encompassy of the whole entire Mexican government, 
I would say that is to blame for what happened at the Gulf of Mexico than just a system that is of course, you know, meant to make profit and earnings for people. The ocean is literally on fire, but yeah, sure, we cannot afford climate action. I don't think this is an issue that's entirely based upon climate change. Number one, it's based upon incompetence, like I said earlier. But number two, this whole entire issue is about pollution of the Gulf of Mexico. Because you see, unfortunately, as a consequence of mass producing stuff, many people will put their garbage, of course, anywhere, whether it's on the ground or in lakes or rivers and of course these giant oil companies sometimes make these pipelines and sometimes they leak and it causes a whole lot of pollution and a lot of dead fish that we cannot necessarily eat for our food and so the whole entire process of pollution is a consequence of mass reproduction and because not many people necessarily care about the environment unfortunately and of course, while we're gone, of course, when humans are probably gone from the face of the earth, I'm pretty sure that, of course, the earth will still survive, but it'll probably become more and more unsustainable once humans, of course, continue to pollute and pollute and pollute and pollute. But getting back to the point that I mentioned earlier about this whole entire incompetent stuff, now, because the whole entire oil company was, is run by the Mexican government, it seems as though, of course, that it's not fair to say that it's, of course, operating underneath some sort of capitalist system. Because the whole entire point of the government, for better or for worse, whether it's corrupt or not, is to serve the interests of what the people want. And that's the main reason why people vote for who they vote for. Is it true that sometimes some politicians could be bought and sold by mega corporations, absolutely. But by and large, the main purpose of the government is not to make a quick buck. The purpose of the government is to serve the people. So I don't necessarily consider that oil company to be part of some sort of capitalist system because it's a private, not necessarily a private business, but a state-owned business. But anyway, what do you guys think about all of this? Please tell me in the comment section down below, and as always, I'll see you guys in the next video.